Hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapti.com and today I'm going to be showing you another tutorial uh, for Python. If you want to view any of my other tutorials, head to CarlSapti.com and click on the Python tutorials or my HTML tutorials. I'll be making more tutorials in the future, so please keep coming back and keep watching my videos. So the first thing we, we have to understand is what a boolean is. So this is simply a data type which gives out either true or false statements. Um, so let's first let's first put this into application. So print three is equivalent to three. So as three is equivalent to three, when we run our module, we'll get the answer is true. Now notice over here that the true statement has come up, but the T is in capital letters. Whenever you're writing or using the word true or false, uh, and you are using it as a boolean, the letter has the first letter, either being T or F, has to be a capital letter. So let's try a different example. So um, 12 is smaller than 4567. Run this and we get another true. So this is pretty much the same thing for all our numerical values. Now let's try it with strings. So let's say we want to find in particular the letter C in the name Carl. And let's run this. So this will again come up to be true because uh, the small letter C can be found in the name Carl. Now if I were to put this to be a capital letter as it should be and run the module, the answer will be false. This is because the small letter C can no longer be found within the string Carl. So this is pretty much done in all kinds of, st uh, this can be done for strings and for numerical values. The next thing we want to sort of ask is, is it possible to ask if one thing can be, if more than one thing can be true at any one time? So the, op the, uh, the answer is yes, because I can print out something like print 13 being greater than 15 and uh, 14 being small uh, thir 13 being smaller than 15 and 14 being smaller than 16 and end your end your brackets and run the module and you'll get a true statement now the uh, another scenario is when one of your uh, one of your symbols, such as your greater than or lesser two symbol, will be the other way around. So in this case, I've made 14 greater than 16. So now when I run the module, the answer will be false. This is because even though one is true, the other one is false. And in this Word document that I've created, I show you all the possible combinations of AND, the AND operator. So when something is true AND true, the answer is true. When something is true and false, the answer is false. And I'll quickly show you when something is true, when something is false and false. So if 13 is greater than 15 and 14 is greater than 16, we'll get another false answer. So the second thing we're going to be looking at is how we can put this into a real world situation, such as um, restrictions for certain ages to access certain websites. So the first thing we can do is make a variable called age and let's say my age is 18. And now let's declare another variable saying if you agree to the terms and conditions yeah you can go through to the following pages. However to make this statement true you have to be at least 18 or older but in this case to access this web page you have to be at least 21 and you have to be at least 21 and you have to agree to the terms and conditions so now when I print this statement off in the console log, I'll get a false statement. This is because over here, I've said I'm 18. Now, 18 is smaller than 21. And as shown in the Word document, if something is false and true, the answer is false. 
So even though that, even though I've agreed to go through and agree is equal to true, as my age is smaller and is therefore wrong, it will not let me through. Now the second part of this tutorial, I want to talk about how we can use another kind of statement called the or, uh, or variable. So in this little bit, if you go back to the Word document, I can show you that over here, if something is true or true, it is true. If it's true or false, it's still true. If it's false or true, it's still true. And if it's false or false, it's false. So let's say print 14 is greater than 13 or uh, 13 is greater than 14 or 13 is greater than 14. Now we obviously know that 13 is not greater than 14 because 14 is greater than 13 but the statement when we run it will still come out to be true because of the because of the conditions that it runs so another example of this could be um, C in Carl or um, H in hello and now what we've got here is we've got one of them which is a false statement and one of them which is a true statement so again we'll get a true statement so again if you want to put this into more of a real real life application and we want to sort of create a program to tell us whether our age is valid or not so something we can do is first of all declare a variable called age and we're going to make this input have a uh, string and the string is going to be called how old are you and question mark and the speech marks and end the tag now the next thing we're going to do is have a number variable and this number variable is going to have an integer value of the age variable this is because uh, we are dealing with integer values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and for it to actually show that it is an integer value we need to use the integer function the next thing we're going to be doing is saying that we're going to print off age uh, we're going to print off uh, number even is greater than let's say two years old and or, or um, number is greater than or your number can be greater than or smaller than a hundred so for the conditions of this to be met your number has to be greater than two or it has to be smaller than a hundred so let's say I want to run this module and the first thing that will come up is how old are you so I'm going to put uh, 18 and the answer is going to be true this is because it's saying that I'm smaller than hundred and I'm also greater than two <coughs> now let's put in a different value so let's rerun this module and let's say a hundred and thirty five and it will still come up with a true statement so if you were to change this the or function to and all that will simply happen is if my number let's say I'm 145 years old I'm greater than two years old but I am also greater than a hundred so as you can expect all that will happen is I'll get a false statement so this is what this is how you can apply uh, a boolean to a real-world application and uh, this is uh, this has been the introduction to how we can use boolean